Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're bringing you a really cool trailer. This is a used trailer, but the cool thing about it is, is with, it was a demo for a little bit. We sold it for a little bit, but we got it back so quick that typically Cimarron doesn't do transferable warranties. They're going to go ahead and honor it on this one from the original purchase date, so you will get some warranty left over on this used trailer, which makes it a really cool setup for you. And on top of that, it's got some really cool features I think you guys will like. It is a 2022 Cimarron Windstar. It's 610 wide. Um, the Cimarron Windstar model, what their Windstar model is, it's kind of like a mix between their stock trailer and horse trailer. So they're running stock sides on the hip wall, but they have it set up inside like a horse trailer with dividers and stuff like that. So that's what Cimarron's Windstar model is. Um, you can see here we set it up as a trainer tack trailer. But the cool thing about it is you're not limited to the trainer tack. They kind of mixed these trainer doors with a large front tack. So on one of your swing out doors, you're going to have your adjustable saddle racks. We kind of did this really cool brush tray down here below. Soren stuff, it's got about a one and a half inch, two inch lip on it. So again, nothing's going to roll out and be rolling around your uh, tack room while you're traveling. It's a really cool setup putting these saddles on the door because you'll see just how much space it gives you guys inside. On your other door over here, we do have your uh, gas piston operated swing out blanket bars. So again, I like them because they can swing out. It makes getting blankets on and off super easy. And then again, that piston is going to help hold your blankets over against that door and put some pressure on them. So again, they're not falling off when you get where you're going. You're not having to pick them up off the floor. And then underneath that, you will have your brush tray. This is also a combo locked tack room. So you will have a mechanical combo lock you can kind of see over here. Cool thing about mechanical combo locks is you never have to worry about your batteries dying, but you can always just, you know, run up and quickly lock your trailer. Only you know the codes, and that way you're not carrying keys around with you all the time. We do have a fold-up step operating to the entry to here on both your doors. Cool thing about it is if you don't need to get your saddles and you just need to come up in here, you don't have to open both, both doors. You can open your right-hand door, step inside, and you don't have to worry about pinning these two big doors back. But up inside this front tack, again, by doing this kind of trainer setup, without blocking off having an entry door on the other side, you get all this room up in here. You get a fully carpeted uh, gooseneck deck and drop wall, as well as an extra large boot box here, which serves as a nice step up to that bed, but then again, it's going to give you plenty of storage in this trailer. These are pretty much the largest boot boxes you can do in a horse trailer, so again, you're going to get plenty of storage to put, these, put whatever you're hauling in here, whether it be slickers, buckets, grain bags, anything like that, and keep it from rolling around this trailer. And again, as we walk around this trailer, keep in mind it is a used trailer, but you'll see just how good a shape it is. We do have the upgraded lights on this trailer. Up here, you'll have one up here in the nose. You'll have one kind of above the camera right here above the door. And the thing I want to point out is up here on your right corner of your nose, you will have a plexiglass holder. So again, this is a wind start set up kind of like half stock combo, half horse trailer. So again, you'll be able to pull all your plexiglass off your hip wall if you wanted to. That's a nice little storage area for it right there. That way it's not just laying in your tack room at home, getting dirty, getting broke, getting cracked, stuff like that. And then again, over here on your driver wall or your short wall of this uh, tack room, you are going to have a lift sh lip shelf up top. So again, it's got that same lip as that uh, saddle rack does below it. So again, you can put hats up there, hat boxes, stuff like that, and it's not going to fall off that shelf. It just gives you a place to get stuff up out of the way, not on the floor to where you're tripping over it. And then you will have a clothes rod hanging here as well. Again, hanging show shirts, slickers, raincoats, stuff like that. It's a great place for that. And here on your partition wall between your stock area and this front uh, dressing room, we did fully carpet this partition wall. I think it's really cool we did that just because you can see there's kind of bridle hooks situated high and low. And what that carpet's going to do is help keep your bridles and stuff that you have hanging there from scraping up the aluminum. It's going to float on that carpet real nicely. And on top of that, it's not going to scrape up your buckles on your head stalls as well. Over here in the corner, we do have a 25 gallon high country plastic water tank. Cool thing about it is we put it on a stand. I like putting it on a stand because again, it gives you a place to put your hose. It'll maybe your hose is leaking after you water some horses. Um, you can put your hose in the bottom of that bucket and it'll kind of keep the water in there versus rolling around your tack room if it leaks at all. But you do have the option to fill buckets there. You can run a hose out the door and water your horses that are tied out. So it's a really cool option. And then right here is your pass through door. We do have a deadbolt on it just to give it a little more oomph as far as holding it shut but again you will get a full pass through door into your stock area we get a lot of questions sometimes why doesn't this door open into the tack room versus into the stall area the reason we do that because if you think about it if a horse is leaning on this door it's pretty much going to hold it shut tighter to whereas if it swings the other way and latches to where it swings into the tack room if a horse leans on it and puts enough pressure on it, it could break that latch right there or not break it but flex it enough to where this door would come open which you wouldn't want while you're hauling
Moving further down this hip side of the trailer, again, Windstar model. So you will have plexiglass inserts on your hip wall here. They're easily removable. I showed you guys that tray to storm up front, but you will have a 16 inch awning light right here above this tie area. So again, that's gonna give you plenty of light if you're tied out right here, pulling saddles off that tack room or watering horses, feeding horses, whatever you need to do, you're gonna have plenty of light to do so. Below that, you're gonna have three tie rings. You'll have three on this side, three on the other side. Again, it's a wind start set up as a three horse. You will have three dividers inside. You'll see right here, it is an air ride trailer. So this is sitting on two 7,500 pound Dexter Airflex axles. The cool thing we do with our Dexter Airflexes or I guess Dexter does with their air flexes is if your air ride system ever goes bad, it is riding on just a normal rubber torsion axle as well underneath those airbags. So for any reason your air system quits working or anything like that, you can more than willing drive this on those rubber torsion axles until you get to a shop or whatever it may be. So you have that kind of backup feature as well. Move around to the load side of this trailer. It's a 50-50 rear door, just a wide open entry. I like it because it gives you the option to keep one door closed, maybe load a horse through a little smaller entry if you're worried about them getting a little antsy and trying to turn around on you. Or if you have a horse that doesn't like to load in tight spaces, you can swing both these doors open and load really efficiently into this trailer. As we step up in here, again, you'll kind of see that we have it set up as a horse trailer like that Windstar model is. So you will have your Cimarron dividers in here. They're your standard Cimarron dividers, same thing you'd see on a North Star. But again, we're just kind of plugging them into a half stock combo setup to make it a little more versatile for you guys. Cool thing about this trailer is kind of aftermarket something the customer that demoed this did is you'll notice right here on all your plexiglass inserts on this bottom row is they went and put rubber bumpers. And what those rubber stoppers are doing is they're holding that plexiglass really firm in there that way that plexiglass isn't rattling while you're traveling. So it's a little bit quieter for your horses. You're not gonna have to worry about that plexiglass getting scratched in your rails or anything like that because those bumpers are gonna hold them pretty sturdy in there. So I think that's pretty cool. And then again, up here on your hip wall up high, you will have your upgraded lights, one for each stall. So you're gonna have plenty of light in this trailer, whether it be checking on your horses, giving your horse some light to see what they're, be, see what they're uh, doing, or you know, dropping feed doors, checking feed, making sure your horses are okay to travel. In each one of these stalls, one, two, and three, you will have a set of tie rings up high in both of your stalls. Again, I like that we put two and not just one because it's really hard. For example, if you have one tie ring, you're tying horses and maybe hanging a bucket or a feeder to feed them. A lot of times all your uh, tie outs can get kind of tangled up and they're really hard to untie after a long trip. So I like that we have two because you can tie a horse high on one, maybe hang a bucket or a feed bag from the other one. Keep kind of everything situated and not getting tangled up for you guys. As we kind of step out of this trailer, you'll see that this roof isn't just an aluminum roof. It's not a, you know, a steel plated roof or anything like that. This is Cimarron's insulated roof. If you get a Cimarron, whether it be a custom order, a lot trailer, anything like that, Cimarron is one of only two manufacturers out there that every single trailer they build, it's their standard. They put an uh, insulated roof on this trailer. So it's a lot cooler in this trailer than it is outside right now, which makes a huge difference, especially in the winter. It's going to stay warmer in there for your horses. In the summer, it's going to stay cooler. So that insulated roof makes a huge difference on these trailers. Up high, you will have two six inch awning load lights. Again, giving you enough light to be able to see what you're doing when you're loading horses and giving them enough light to be able to see what they're doing while you're loading them. So that way it's a lot safer for you when you're loading horses and it's definitely a lot safer for your horses. Then up above that, we have this air catch or air dam. And what's that's gonna do is it's gonna kinda take that air and pull it behind the trailer. A lot of times, especially on these stock combo or these Windstar setups, when you pull a trailer, that dust likes to swirl behind the trailer. And since these are just plexiglass inserts and not a full sealed door, a lot of times that dirt will wrap around and come into the back of this trailer, get your horses dirty and get the inside of this tack room dirty. So by putting that air dam up there, it's gonna kinda pull that air behind the trailer and keep it from wrapping around. It's gonna help keep the inside and the back of your trailer a lot cleaner while you travel. And it looks pretty cool too. Coming around to your head side, it's gonna be very similar or pretty much exactly the same as what you're gonna see on a North Star model. So the Windstar is kinda of like your passenger side is set up like a stock combo, your head side is set up like a North Star. Um, we do have your big Cimarron drop windows. Again, these are super heavy duty. I can move pretty much this whole trailer with this window. Window's not gonna flex at all. You're not gonna hear any creak and they're super heavy duty windows. And they're really easy to operate. You will have your jail bars in the middle as well. 
So again, this being a 610 wide trailer, I love dropping these gel bars because it gives you the option to step up on these running boards, tie your horses, check on your horses, feed your horses, whatever it may be, all from the outside of the trailer, which makes it super functional. Again, super easy to operate. If for some reason it was super cold out, but you still wanted to get a little bit of air for your horses, you do have the sliding type windows in those big drops as well. You're more than welcome to ride with these windows down. They do have a latch holding them so you can travel with them like that. And again, you'll see just how easy they operate. They're super, super heavy duty and super easy to use, which I really love these Cimarron drop windows. Before we make our way up to the front, I just kind of want to point out we did upgrade, or we didn't, but we did put aftermarket upgraded wheels on this trailer. These are Boar's Heads wheels. Our GM loves them. Um, our manager loves them. Anytime they demo a trailer, which this one was their demo, I think they've had three or four demos that they always put these upgraded wheels on and they always look really flashy and they've always held up. So it's super cool that you guys have that on this trailer. We're going to kind of finish up. We'll walk up to the nose of this trailer. You guys will notice as we kind of make our way up front, this is a V-nose trailer. It's really cool doing a V-nose, especially if you're not going to be staying in it all the time. What's that's going to do? It's going to give you more miles per gallon in your truck because you're not going to have that big flat air dam up above your truck. It's going to give you a better tur turning radius if you do have a short bed truck or something like that. But again, it's just a super cool setup doing a V-nose on a trailer like this. It's going to pull a whole lot better for you guys, especially having that air ride on this trailer. This thing's going to pull like a dream. And then up here underneath the nose, we kind of have some cool upgrades for you guys. We have your battery box on your right hand side. Again, that's going to power your whole, all your lights and everything like that. It's going to power your hydraulic jack. We have equipped it with the battery cutoff. We always do battery cutoffs on our trailers, especially nowadays. All the new models, if they have batteries on them, they are coming with those cutoffs. Just because if you are parking this for a week and say you left the tack room light on that you didn't notice and you park it, you're not coming out to dead batteries. All you have to do is if you're parking this, turn that switch off. It's going to kill all power to this trailer and you're not going to have to worry about your batteries dying. And on top of that, this trailer is equipped with a solar panel mounted underneath this battery box. Cool thing about it is that panel pretty much is going to run all the time and it's basically going to trickle charge those batteries. So even if this thing is parked, you maybe forgot to turn your switch off, that trickle charger is just going to constantly keep it charging those batteries so you should hopefully never have to worry about having battery issues with this trailer. And then typically we don't mount these air ride boxes in a battery box like this, but I think it's really cool they did because again, it keeps it kind of isolated and cleaner for you guys, but maybe gives you some storage if you're hauling some equipment and stuff like that. But this is Dexter's Airflex uh, air ride system. It's super easy to use. You're going to have an on off button to turn your compressor on and off and then a raise and lower position to raise and lower the airbags on that trailer. And it's going to kind of operate as you travel. So as you hit bumps, it's going to let air out of the bags and that compressor is going to kick on and fill those back up to make that ride a lot easier on your horses. And then below both those boxes, of course, we do have an electric over hydraulic jack. Again, it does have an override on it. So it's super easy to be able to hit those buttons up and down. But if those batteries ever do die, which I don't think they will with that you know, battery cutoff and the solar charger, but if they ever do die, you guys do have the option to run it with an override switch. We only order the models on our Cimarrons that come with these. Some trailers you'll find out there don't give you an override. It'll be the same jack with no override, but we always put the overrides on our trailers just because we feel it's safer for you guys. If you get somewhere, we want you guys to be able to hook up no matter what. So you'll be able to crank this up and down with your override stick here. And of course, you got your seven pin connection and then you're pretty standard up front. You'll have your BMW 2 and 5 16 coupler, your safety chains, and then your breakaway cable. Again, it's a super cool little setup. It is a used trailer. Um, it's not very often that we see Cimarron honoring warranties as being transferable. So it's a really cool little package deal you get here with the trailer and the warranty. Again, it's a 2022 Cimarron Windstar three horse gooseneck. Um, stock number is 5U220-685. Again, this trailer is sitting here. It's not sold, it's ready to go, which is very rare these days. I think it'd make one of you guys a really good trailer. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe some other trailers we have or have on order, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.